I'm going to show you how to craft weapons in Mortal Online 2. Now, it may not be as simple as you would imagine compared to other MMOs if you play other ones, but crafting is an integral part of this game, and if you want to get involved in it, you've got to start somewhere. Now, apparently it's easier than it used to be, so you're going to find what's called a weapon crafting table you see over there. Now, if you're in Tendrum and you're looking at the giant white castle, there's the exit right there. Okay, it's right around here. Okay, bank's over there. It's right here. Now, if you're in a different town, you're just going to find the same type of thing. You'll just go around stations until you find a weapon crafting table. It'll be somewhere. Okay, good luck finding it. Anyway, you're going to hold whatever your default key is, R in my case, to open up the weapons uh, crafting screen. And if you know nothing, you're a brand new player. This is where apparently it's easier than it used to be. Uh, you will start off with one recipe. So we have turned hilt. And what happens is the first time you ever go to craft one of these, It'll give you the skill once you put the materials in. Now, I already did it. And the theory we have, I'm not 100% sure on this. Don't quote me on this. It gave me level 8. I think it's based on your intelligence. I think it rounds down. I have 89 intelligence. And when I first picked something, it was like, oh, now you have level 8. So I guess it's based off your intelligence, what the first bit it gives to you is. But anyway, turned hilt. All right, you'll click the turned hilt, and you'll see it appear like this. Then you're going to pick a material. So generally, for this type of thing, it doesn't tell you what material you're going to need. You're just going to have to assume. We got a core material and a grip material. It says, uh, it doesn't even tell you anything else about it. So you just, gotta, you just gotta use your best intuition. And you can swap out materials to get better or worse weapons. So it's up to you. The sky's the limit to try to figure out what type of material would be the best or make the best weapon in the game. But we're gonna put in, maybe, can we put in bone tissue? Yeah, bone tissue. Okay, so the core material is gonna be bone for the handle. Um, and then the grip material, I'm gonna assume it's some type of leather. Well, I got this stuff called full grain leather from Killing Boar. So we throw that in there. Actually, called, they're called bush pigs, by the way. Then once you do that, it unlocks the head category. Well, the only one it has by default is the heavy short blade. So you click that, and now you'll see this short blade like head on the handle. So you'll need a head material. You'll, now you'll need something hard, right? So uh, you're gonna wanna go for, the easiest one is gonna be bone-like material. I don't think, yeah, you can't put stone. You can put wood. You could make a wooden sword. I would not recommend a wooden sword though, okay? Um, I actually don't think I can remove this now. Shift. Alt click, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if there's a way to remove it off that once you clicked it, but let's go back through this. So put in this and we're gonna put in bone and whatever. But you can put in um emoji, for example, and it'll make a bone short blade, which can be better than wood, I would assume. Have better stats. Um so there you go, that's the basics right here. Now we got this thing ready to craft. So now we just hold the craft. And there we go, we made it. Now it does not tell you how many materials it takes. The only way to find out how many materials it takes is to just go for it. Also, there are resources online you can probably find that will also show you what you need for every single weapon and stuff. There's some calculator things someone showed me once, but it's generally not a big deal. Just get a bunch of materials, come home, and just try crafting stuff. You'll, you'll figure it out real fast. It's, it, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Although, you'll need to overcomplicate it, you know, later on in the game if you want to, just to min-max or something. But for beginners, you don't need to overcomplicate it. Just go kill some bush pigs. They just run. They don't even fight back. Get a bunch of mats and just... You know, throw them in your bank, have them with you, and just try to make stuff. It doesn't use that much for most of this stuff. So then, the question is, how do we make other weapons, right? All we can make is this little short blade? Well, surely you want other weapons, right? Are there other weapons in the game? Well, there are. And you're going to press um, L by default to open up your skills to take a look at this stuff. I'm not sure if there's a UI way to do this, actually. I'm not familiar. Maybe down here? Yeah, here it is. Open skills. I always just use the keys without even thinking about it. Um, open skills. And in here, you'll find all your different skills. Um, there's two different kinds. There's action skills, which is like combat and stuff. And then profession skills, which is what, we're, what we will be working with today because we're trying to make weapons. So you'll have right here, once you've done this, you'll have weapon crafting. And even just crafting that short sword got me from level 8 to level 11. Now, it will slow down the more you do, obviously. You'll see how much experience you need to the next level. But uh, in the beginning, it'll go kind of fast, especially the first 20 levels or so. But anyway, so what happens here, it'll, it'll let you have freebies. Those freebies were the handle and pole crafting skill, which there's all of this underneath handle and pole, uh, pole crafting. Each one of these is its own individual skill, by the way, which I'll get to in a second. Let's close that, collapse that. And we have basic blade crafting. Gave us basic blade crafting, but none of these additional ones, uh, not even a short blade, none of that. So all you need for that short sword is weapon crafting, handle blade and pole crafting, and basic blade crafting, okay? And it lets you get the freebies and just get those, which I think it used to, like I said, it used to not be that way. It used to be you had to actually somehow just know this and go, dude, I'm pretty sure, back like way long ago in beta and stuff. I don't know though. Uh, but either way, if I want to make a blunt weapon, 
Okay. I have to go read a book to unlock it, which we'll get to in just a second. So let's say I want, uh, I guess like blunt head crafting is what I probably go for. I could spiked head crafting. I could get, I don't know, any of the stuff. Uh, but also, if I want to make that, I'm pretty sure I have to make uh, a handle for it. So I need, yeah, I need one-handed shaft and club crafting. If I want a two-handed club, I'm gonna need two, that one because it's the pre-rec under like underneath of it. So if I collapse, you see nothing's underneath it. If I open it up, here's all the things that are underneath of it. So one-handed shaft and club crafting is like the parent skill for this next level of skills. And I'm going to need at least that. But if I want two-handed, I'm gonna need that, and I'm gonna need the two-handed one. Okay, and then for the hilt, um, for, oh, that's blaze, alright, this is just shaft, okay. So you're gonna go to the library and you're gonna get one-handed shaft and club, and if you wanna do a two-handed, well, you have to get two-handed shaft and club crafting. So, let's go over to the library. If, now, if you are in Tendrum, library, if I can get past the horse, it's over on the other side of town. Now, if you are in Meduli, um, that's the other one I know offhand. I think it was at the giant, like we call it jokingly, the tiny giant castle, but I'm not sure if that was correct or not, so don't quote me on that. I actually never went there over there. I always just hang out in Tendrum. Tendrum's where I just do everything, usually. So, on the other side of Tendrum, just to give you one place in the world that you could exactly know where a library is, it's this building right here. And generally, no matter what library you are in, you will find librarians, obviously. Now, all they do is just sell books, okay? So, glorified shops. And over here, for example, in this one, we have the common librarian, but that's not what we want. We want the crafting librarian, okay? Crafting librarian. We open this up, and she has all this stuff. Now, if you don't know how books work, the way that this works, now I will, uh, I'm actually going to have to skip ahead. I forgot to bring money. Bring money when you go to the librarian, because now I'm going to have to skip ahead so you don't have to watch her go to the bank and back. I'll be right back. Okay, now that I got some money with me, let me explain See this. So, I, um, I already know crafting weapons, but I could buy this again if I wanted to. Please and the way books again. work... There's a slot here for books, and so you will right-click to start training. It'll throw the book on. And what happens now is just as you are playing the game, it'll just passively be leveling up my crafting weapon skill. So I go over to weapon crafting, and now just as I'm playing the game normally, my weapon crafting will just slowly go up. But if at any point I just don't care anymore, I can right-click in my inventory and stop the training. So now that book, but when you do that, it just throws the book away, which I know is silly, but that's just how this game works. So in order to unlock skills, you're gonna have to throw books on and then just throw them off. Not the most efficient way, but if you want to do it fast, that's what you're gonna do. So let's say we're trying to figure out the blunt you. weapons. Well, I need crafting blunt weapons. Okay, we're gonna buy that. Well, well, now what happens is I right click it to start learning, and now I am reading it. Now it'll take three hours uh, in order to finish reading it. But, if I let that go, I think three hours of real life time, I think? I'm actually not 100% sure on that. My, my, my friend said it was in-game time, but that, that was no way that was true. It said three days, and I definitely played three in-game days, and it was not done on a different book. So, I'm thinking, I don't know. Either way, time. Time is the main point, okay? I'm not a grandmaster at this. I'm just, I, I, know, I know how it works. I'm not the grandmaster, though. So, now that I did that, we go to weapon crafting. And here we have blunt weapon crafting unlocked. Okay, but if I go back to the weapon crafting table, there's still nothing here. And like I said, the reason for that is because I don't actually have anything to craft in here yet. I would need blunt head crafting or spiked head crafting or get axe crafting and then go on to get axe head crafting or something like that. And I also don't have any handles to craft. So I'm going to have to get one-handed shaft and club crafting. Go read that book. And I'm going to have to read... Um, blunt head crafting. So right now we can see I still have that book on and my blunt weapons crafting is now at 12. And when I get over back over the library, I will do, get rid of this book to go throw the next one. Let's go back to the library. So now I'm back at the library. Let's go see look for those books. For so we have crafting blunt heads. Okay, and there's spiked heads. But let's just get blunt heads. Deal. Okay, let's see if we can find the other books in here. We have... Axe heads, handles, ooh, crafting handles, crafting one-handed shaft, crafting one-handed blade. And you might get in here and go, okay, I don't remember what it was, because sometimes the books are different than the name, so let's open up the skill screen again, which is down there. And we're going to look at handle and pole craft. We want one-handed shaft and club crafting, two-handed shaft and cr club crafting. So, go through here. Two-handed blade, two-handed shaft, handles, uh, you know, 
axe heads. You see, like the names are not identical. So, you know, in a lot of cases, later on, if you don't know, you don't have a guide, you're just gonna have to start guessing. Unfortunately. So in this case, let's just guess and say crafting one-handed shaft handles. Okay. So now we're going to whoops go to our character screen. We're gonna remove the blunt weapons. We're going to put on blunt heads. All right. Now we take a look. And we go to profession skills and we have blunt head crafting. There you go. We got that one done. But now we need all this one handed stuff. So let's get rid of that. We're going to try to unlock one handed. And we guessed correctly. One that this book, one handed shaft handles, was in fact one handed shaft and club crafting. So, you know, as you go, you're going to have to just guess because the books are not identical names to the actual skills, unfortunately. But yeah, that is how you're going to go through that. So now that we have all that unlocked. At low levels, we could read these books up to level 70 if we're patient, but I'm making a guide, so obviously I'm not going to be patient. It's up to you to decide how patient you want to be. Let's go back over to the crafting table, though, and see if we unlocked anything. So now I am back at the weapon crafting table. I'm going to hold R to open this up. And there we go, axes and hammers. We got all these different handles now. Wow, okay. Each one, I assume, does something different. I'll tell you right now, I don't actually know because I'm not an expert weapon crafter. I'm just here to explain how to get you started in this stuff. So let's go with the straight handle. All right, we'll put in bone tissue again. Does it work? All right, it does. Let's put in full grain for the grip. And we're done. Now, do we want a war hammer or a sledgehammer? I'm not really sure what the benefits of one are versus the other. And that's kind of the fun of this game, trying to figure it out. So war hammer. Uh, why not? Let's go with war hammer. We'll put in some more emolgy. And we'll see if I even have enough materials. I got 199 emolgy, 905 full grain leather. And 1669 bone tissue. We'll hold a craft and. Oh, it used about 50 emolgy and just little little bits of stuff. Pretty much nothing. Emolgy is the only one out of these resources I would even be concerned about running out of at this point. So I go to my inventory, which is now behind my thing, unfortunately. Let me move that back. Okay. And over in here, I have the emolgy war hammer with straight handle. So I forget, you have to right click, not drag. All right, we got it. Let's take a look see at it. And there it is. Let's go hit a wall with it. Yep, it's real. It's not fake. It's a real thing. I can really hit things with it. So yeah, that is how to craft. And anything you do is going to be the same kind of thing. Now, not, not every librarian has all the recipes in the game. I'm not 100% sure about the crafting ones, but I know in other cases you may have to go to another city to get certain books. You can get a lot of the books at most librarians, but some books can only be found in certain cities in this game. So if you are looking for a specific one and it is not at the librarian, you might have to try going to different towns, searching and hunting for that book. But once that book is on your in, on, in your inventory equipped like this, you will not drop it when you die, so you don't have to worry about that. You can go to another town, pop a book in, and even if you die, that book will stay there. So you don't have to worry about that if you're actually trying to get the full skill level up from it. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's everything with weapon crafting to get you started. Now again, you can swap out materials with other stuff. I'm not sure if I really have anything else to swap out, unfortunately, to show you. I could try. Do I have anything else? Oh, that's right. We could do wood with a grip. And then I actually don't have anything for axes. I don't have any axe heads. So here's a good example. I can do an axe handle and put the material in, but I don't. I didn't learn any axe heads. I didn't read the axe head book. So, you know, back to the same idea. But let's say a gripped handle, and let's pick a sledgehammer this time. Can we make it out of wood? We can make a wooden sledgehammer. Let's go ahead and make one. So let's take a look at the stats. There's something I should probably show you here. So we have this one. If you mouse over your weapon, it'll show you the strength required to wield it effectively. So it doesn't just burn your stamina when you try to use it. How much damage it does, which in the case of that Amalgi Hammer was 17.65 blunt damage or two piercing damage, which I assume is if I hit with the other side, which might be a stab. I'm not even sure. And then if we look at the wooden sledgehammer. It's blunt damage is only 12. Now I know it's a different weapon, but you get the idea. Probably shouldn't be 12. 12 blunt versus 17, that is the effect of using wood. Now, if you use some crazy other material that's extremely difficult to get, super rare, or you find out how to make steel and you use steel, it's going to have higher damage. If your skill is higher, it's going to have higher damage. And that is how weapon crafting works in Mortal Online 2. And that's really all there is to it. I know it's a lot, but once you know, it's not so bad. It's really not so bad once you get like the basics on it. Now, someday when you want to be an expert, you'll have to manage your skills because there are not enough skills in the game. You can only have 1,200 profession skills at a time. 
And so you'll have to pick and choose what you want to do because there are more than 12 types of weapon crafting. So you'll have to choose what you want to specialize in. Do you want to be someone who makes swords? Do you want to be someone who makes hammers? Do you want to be someone who makes axes? It's better to just focus on one or two because there literally are not enough skills in the entire game for your character to be able to get them all. But that's what we're crafting, okay? That is everything you need to know, I hope. If you have any questions, you can try to comment, and maybe I'll notice someday and reply. But that is how to craft weapons in Mortal Online 2.